Hey guys, welcome back to the Maple Hut. This video will be focusing on troubleshooting with Windows 10 on a Mac using VirtualBox. So on my um on my how to play Maple Story on a Mac 2017 video, I had got a question about the command plus R on the Windows 10 to um, get to the video BIOS and delete everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that. I'm also going to show you guys how to actually run the Windows 10 on VirtualBox and what settings to use that's optimal for your computer. Um, so first off, let me guys show you my system preference or about my Mac. I'll uh, show you guys my specs. So I'm on Mac OS Sierra. I have 10.12.6 um, with 16 gigabytes of memory. So yeah, just if you were wondering. So here is my VirtualBox. Make sure you have VirtualBox and its extension and Windows 10 downloaded. I'll have those in the, des the description below. Uh, so make sure you have all three of those before you proceed. So now that you have all three of those, you want to open up your VirtualBox. I have mine open right here. And you want to open new. I have one saved already, and I'm going to go ahead and run this one actually after I show you the settings that I have inside of here. Um, and so you, yeah, so I can actually run through the installation process with you guys. So go ahead and hit new. And you want to name this your Windows 10. Um, I put two S's because I don't want to have a duplicate, duplicate name. Just go ahead and name that whatever you want. Windows 10 is what I'm going to name it. You want to make sure it's the type is Windows 10 and the type is Windows 10 64 bit. So depending on, I don't know if this is the actual solution to this question, but I've also got the question or seen the question of um, their virtual machine going black after a certain amount of time or going black during the installation. And I would recommend you guys, if your 64 bit version of Windows that you're downloading from the website is, um, I think that's the problem. You may need to download 32 bit Windows 10. So if you download the 32-bit version, say if 64-bit is making your Windows 10 crash, you download a 32-bit, this is what you choose, Windows 10 32-bit. Now the options inside of here may be a little different because I don't use 32-bit. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be doing the settings for 64-bit in this video. So once you hit continue, it'll take you to the memory size window. And on the memory size window, you want to make sure you have a worthy amount of um, memory allocated to your virtual machine. And what I mean by worthy amount is um, an amount that you can run whatever application you are running with smoothly. So typically, I, I was able to run MapleStory on Windows 10 pretty smoothly at around 3,500 megabytes, that being 3.5 gigs of memory being allocated from your Mac into your Windows 10 virtual machine while you're running the application, whatever that may be. Um, so um, I, as you can see, I have 16,000 megabytes of memory going back to my system, 16 gigabytes of memory there. That's where your memory is at. So um, honestly, if I was going to be using Windows 10 and I was running something like GTA 5, for example, I would want a lot of memory, you know what I'm saying? Because that takes up a lot of memory on computers typically. So MapleStory, MapleStory doesn't take up that much RAM, uh, so you can have this pretty low. I'll have mine at 3000 for this example. Go ahead and create, create the hard disk now. This is the virtual hard disk, um, so like a C drive. Uh, go ahead and click create the VDI, dynamically allocated. Windows 10. Okay, so this is the file location and size. So um, file location, don't worry about that. That's default. It'll be uh, in it's whatever this folder is. You can go and click on that and find that out there. But here <coughs> on my Mac computer, I have two terabytes of space. So if I wanted to, I could allocate 800 gigs of space onto this virtual disk that we just created if I wanted to. But for MapleStory, MapleStory is only 10 gigs, so I'll only allocate maybe 32 gigs. And that's what it had default. So default is fine. Go ahead and hit Create. Now that I hit Create, um, our system is there. It's created. But we have not inputted Windows 10 into the system yet. So how to input Windows 10 into the system is you click on the settings and you go to Storage. So here in Storage, 
click on empty and then click on the CD disk right here and click on Windows 10. Mine is right here because I've clicked it already. I already have a machine that is running Windows 10. So what you'll want to do is click or choose virtual optical disk file. I always have a problem saying optical disk file for some reason. Anyway, <laughs> you go to wherever your Windows 10 is downloaded at and mine being on my desktop. So I'm gonna go to my desktop and select the Windows 10. And now it'll pop up here and that's what you want. So, um, here, okay, I've also seen questions about it not being able to connect to the internet. And my only guess would be is that your main Mac is not com connected to your Wi-Fi or the, your internet. Me, in this case, um, I'm on the Wi-Fi, and so it will translate into the Windows 10 system's Wi-Fi automatically. So if you're having internet problems, make sure you check uh, with your Mac's internet problem. Like I said, I haven't had any problems with that yet. So if you have some problems or if you have answers to that, please leave them in the section below. I want to help as many people as possible. Okay. So in that video, in uh, the how to play Maple Story on a Mac 2017 video, I had also explained that you had to have your USB on three. I'm now figuring out that that doesn't really matter. I have my, my other system on one and it's running perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that there. Um, yeah, so you want to make sure you have your video, video memory as high as possible. Um, yeah, and everything. So that on default, it's as high as it can go. So hit OK, save those settings. And so now you would hit start. I'm not going to hit start on this one because I already have this one. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Delete all files. I don't need anything there. All right. So that was the initial part of the video. And now let's get into the actual um, Windows 10 operating system. Okay, so here, once you open up your Windows 10 system, we actually have it running here. Um, quick uh, notice, no, I just want to say, uh, with the double mouse, I don't know how to exactly fix that. If you know how to fix that, please leave that in the comment section below, and maybe I'll make another video, or I'll make a note on how to fix that, uh, because I don't exactly know. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. It has a cool effect on things. Anyway, so you want to go ahead and put in um, your language, your time and currency, and all that. Um, anything that it asks, you know, follow the steps. Um, there may be more steps than that. I've installed this before, so if there are more steps, just make sure you follow through with everything. Hit install now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. Um, it's just going to uh, install everything. If this pops up, go ahead and hit I don't have a product key. It doesn't matter. You don't need a product key. I'm going to go ahead and get the home disk uh, edition. You don't need the pro edition just to be running MapleStory or whatever gaming app application that you're using. So go ahead and hit next. Accept the terms, you can read through if you want to. Okay, go ahead and hit custom. If you hit um, the top one, the default, it'll take you out of it and won't allow, at least it does with me. So I want to hit custom and select the drive that we had created earlier hit next and this is where it's going to copy all the copy and install all of the Windows 10's files so you want to make sure you uh, leave your virtual machine running and open while this is loading all right I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part so I'll be right back all right guys we're back so we have Cortana talking here and I just muted her perfect Okay, so we're back, and um, I actually had to wait a good amount of time, it was maybe five minutes or so, for everything to uh, install and all that. So here are the extra questions I was talking about earlier in the video that I figured they would ask. Um, so they end up coming after the installation. So go ahead and pick everything that you need to pick. I already have most of my stuff already done, so just repicking it here. All right, you're connected. Got my keyboard connected. Now we'll check for any updates. Found some. Hang tight while we get them installed. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as the last one did. If it does, don't worry. I'll go ahead and skip everything for you guys. Alright guys, so we're back. And um, so yeah, it took a few more minutes. <coughs> Sign in and make a free Microsoft account. I'll do that later. Not too worried about that now. 
It's nice that they ask you all of these things though. All right, so we'll just name this Maple Hut is using this. Create a super memorable password. All right. Confirm your password. Hint free password, you know. Because I do know. <laughs> just a moment. Hopefully it's not gonna take a while. All right, make a Cortana your personal assistant. No, I'm good. I don't need her talking to me. I already have Siri talk to me. Choose privacy settings for your device. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh no, I don't want that. Or that. You can yeah. Make sure you read these and go through because it's you know some things you may not want. Uh, uh yeah, I don't want that either. I don't want any of that. <laughs> All right. I don't want your services Windows 10. I just want your operating system. Okay, that's the last step. That's what we like to see. We need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right, Windows 10. We're getting everything ready for you. Oh, how nice of you. You're so kind. By the way, guys, I have my first MapleStory 2 video rendering to my left right now. I'm very excited about that because um, this is my first time ever touching, touching MapleStory 2. And not only was I able to play MapleStory 2, I was able to play it with the English English patch. Um, shout out to Ayumi and shout out to a couple of my friends for helping me with the whole process. I really feel like you guys will enjoy that whole series. I'm thinking about doing a series, you know, like leveling up multiple characters up to 50 or whatever the max level is. Just like how I'm how I'm doing the Road to Righteousness with my Kana on Maple Story Original, GMS. So yeah, if you guys want to see some specific series or certain um, characters done or anything, I'm open to any suggestions. I really want to make this series and this channel really about you guys. You know, this is really a community and I want everyone to come together and be able to help each other in a positive way. Let me go check my levels here. Yep, looks like we're good. So um, yeah, I just want to make sure that everything is for you guys. You know what I'm saying? This channel is for, from the people, for the people, you know, truly. All right, so we want to we want everything to be ready for you. Do not turn off your PS PC. I don't know what I was gonna say there. At this point, I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and let it do its thing, and I'll be. Oh, look at that! It was like, no, don't leave me. I'll go ahead and finish for you. Don't leave me. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the operating system. So I'm gonna get right into it because this video is running a little long here. So what we're going to be doing actually is um, uh, hitting command plus R, but just a second, I want to make sure everything is loaded. A good way to check if everything is loaded well is just hover over the icons, and once everything is responding, then you should be good. Okay, so uh, go ahead and click on your desktop inside of the virtual box on your Windows 10 desktop, and hit command, oh, not command, sorry, command R. Oh, no, it's not command R. Okay, so shout out to you who had the question. Um, it's not command R. It is actually, let me figure out what it is. Hmm, okay, that's not what it is. All right, so what you can do is just uh, just type in run. Click on the uh, the Windows icon here and type in run. It's supposed to open the run, but I guess it just resets the virtual box. So I'm glad you pointed that out for me. Thank you. Um, okay, so open. We want to open RegEdit once we get here. And this is how you make it make MapleStory able to run. So you want to go under, I believe is local machine system. Go to H key, local machine, description, system. And video BIOS version is right here. You want to go ahead and double click that and delete everything that is in here and hit OK. And now you're good. Now you can go ahead and open that MapleStory. Um, I actually don't have it downloaded here, but take my word for it, it will work. If it does not work, then leave a question in the comment section below on why it doesn't work or how it doesn't work, and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching this extended video. Um, this video is much longer than we normally have it. If you've ex enjoyed this longer video, please give us a like, smash that like button in, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification if you're looking forward to more um, content just like this. And as always, 
Have a good day. Thanks.